throughout the world, sport often defines a region. In some cases, it defines an entire continent. In the U.S., more than 100,000 kids play football every year. Around 9,000 of those athletes will play in college. And less than 2% have a chance of being drafted in the National Football League. To many who play the sport, the dream seems impossible. But for Jordan Maialata, a rugby player who has never played American football, a chance may be all he needs. Now how about a little bit of a, a mystery? Jordan is a 21-year-old of Samoan origin who has played professional rugby. The opportunity that's been presented before me is, uh, it's not to be taken lightly. In January, he was discovered by agents and he moved to America to begin his dream what? to go from rugby to football. I love his story. Six foot eight, 345 pounds, Samoan from Australia. I'm here to compete and I, I want the best for, for my life. If they draft a kid from Australia who has never played football and becomes a real player, that's the new standard. If I could make it, it would change my life and my family's life, like forever. The NFL has set its sights on expanding across the globe. As part of that initiative, the league developed a program to help identify talented foreign athletes whose skill and athleticism could transfer to American football. Jordan Maialata was an easy target. The position they see me playing is uh, offensive lineman, left tackle. There aren't that many guys that can move like me at my size. So I'm really eager to just uh, be a sponge and absorb all the information around me. Over the course of three months, Jordan and several other international prospects will spend their time learning the game of football from the ground up. 12 hours a day, seven days a week, in the hopes of making an NFL roster. Uh-oh, better get it! With the average NFL player having at least 10 years of football experience before becoming a professional, the biggest obstacle to overcome will be mental. Perfection is a myth. What gives you energy? What gives you motivation? Why are you going to the weight room? Why are you going to the track? That energy or to be with you on a constant basis. That motivation should be with you every single day. It's a daily choice. What type of man you gonna be? What type of player are you gonna be? It's a choice. My knowledge on the NFL is very limited. Um, I've only watched a few games and, and highlights. What Just, position would you see yourself possibly playing? I'm open to anything, but I guess because I've been watching left tackle a lot, I kind of want to learn it. One of the coaches asked me, uh, do I know anyone? Do I, do I watch anyone in particular? And I said, uh, only Michael Orwak because of the blind side. We're going to teach you how to get down in a stance and a start, verbiage. I've never heard that word verbiage before. It's like going into it blindfolded. It's the first time putting on a helmet. Uh-oh. You, know, you don't know what you're seeing, what you're hearing. How's that feel right there? I don't, I don't, honestly, I don't know how it's supposed okay. to well, I mean, It feels it, nice, but everything's new. It's a big mystery. All right. Okay. You're all set, ready to go. In this process, it's about giving him a fundamental base. But ultimately, it's how he learns to learn. What I've realized is this, it's a pattern. It's reading the plays, being light on your feet, and being tough. I, I'm not gonna take this lightly, because I'm here to compete, and I, I want the best for, for my life. Finish! One thing that I'm really good at is being able to adapt. Ah, got it. I feel like I've, I've played a high level of, of rugby league. 
And now I feel like I want to challenge myself to learn a new sport. Um, not to be naive, but just like really take on board one of the greatest games in the world and prove everyone wrong, challenge people that you know, someone who hasn't played the sport before can do it. I feel like I'm carrying five kilos. Most draft eligible NFL prospects have years of college film for coaches to evaluate. Jordan has nothing. But defying the odds is nothing new for the Australian. When he was 17 years old, he was diagnosed with a rare heart condition that nearly ended his athletic career. I got picked up in a rep squad uh, for our local team, for the Canterbury Bulldogs. Um, and, and during that preseason, I collapsed that training and I had no idea why it happened. I thought it was just because of my big size that I was just unfit and um, I needed to work on my fitness. It wasn't until I collapsed the second time that the trainer sent me to the doctor. I got checked out. He told me, you gotta go to the emergency straight away because you got something wrong with your heart. Over the course of a year, he underwent two surgeries in the upper and lower chambers of his heart, forcing him to sit out of all activity. And that's when I realized that I knew what I, I needed to do for my body to perform to the best of my ability. Um, and so I used that to get into the National Rugby League team in one of the teams down in Sydney, the South Sydney Rebels. Um, and fortunately enough, they gave me a run and I t tore it up, I'm not gonna lie, for them. In almost 100 years of the National Football League, no foreign player with zero American football experience has ever been drafted. Now, Jordan's NFL audition will take the form of a single tryout. Ironically, the same heart that nearly killed his dream could now be the factor that saves it. Saturday's Combine features scouts from across the league who will be documenting a series of tests that gauge athleticism, technique, and attention to detail. Each participant is timed, recorded, and compared to prospects around the country. For Jordan and his comrades, the margin for error is razor thin. I, I want to be a guy that everyone remembers for the right reasons. Yeah, works hard, the last man in the room, um, and also just doing it for, for me, I guess. Everyone can see that I want this and it's something that I see myself doing. You're looking for a competitor because if you're a competitor, you find a way to get it done. Really, it's, it's a chance for them to showcase themselves. 21. You can't change what's going to happen. You can just go out there and be who you are. There aren't that many guys that can move like me. I'm a real tough competitor, even though this is all foreign to me. I will catch up. I didn't come to take part, man. I came to take over. Obviously, there are many talented players in the United States, but I feel like we can kind of expand that. The skill set, uh, the athleticism, all that stuff will come over time. But, I mean, I'm looking for a guy that will compete, that want to get better. Go. Jordan's performance at the Pro Day puts him among the top offensive linemen in the country. I wasn't nervous. I was more just excited just to get through the drills and get it done. Um, and yeah, I think, I think we did well today. So I'm, I'm glad that it's over now and that we've, we've done it. The grueling three-month schedule paid off. Now, all he can do is wait. Jordan, you have interest evidently, huh? Yeah, I'm quite surprised. Um, at how much interest I've, I've sparked up in the last couple of months. Uh, so the Redskins were the first team that I visited. Uh, that was today. Now I'm going to Pittsburgh to visit Steelers. And I also have a visit with uh, Philadelphia Eagles, Cleveland Browns, LA Chargers, and Atlanta Falcons. This isn't some curiosity case or some NFL PR thing. Where yeah. It's like, we've got this fun story from down under. Like, this is real. Teams are using 30 player visits on him. So every team gets to meet with 30 players. They are using some of those on this guy because they want to see more out of him, meaning they have full intention of drafting him 
next week. The NFL Draft is an annual event which allows all 32 teams to restock their rosters with the best young players in America. After spending months scouting the top names in college football, the teams compete against each other for the perfect haul of new talent. General managers, coaches, and owners race the clock to make their picks over seven rounds. The Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. Wow. It is Baker Mayfield. If Jordan gets selected by an NFL team, the earliest it is likely to happen is on the draft's final day, between the fourth and seventh rounds. A lot of things going through my head. I really can't put them into words. Yeah, I didn't get much sleep last night, so yeah, I feel very tired and I'm very excited as well. So yeah, a lot of things are happening, but I'm excited and, and nervous at the same time. This, this journey that I've been on, um, with the five other guys in the, the program, you know, every day it was, it was a grind and yeah, it has not been a walk in the park. You know, um, I think we all took a risk coming here, so I, I, I think it's paying off and you know what they say, hard work pays off, so hopefully, you know, I know that's just the tip of the iceberg. With the selections beginning in the morning and going late into the afternoon, the wait for a career-changing phone call can be excruciating. And it's not just time that hangs in the balance. It's the course of his life. Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay. Green Bay. Oh, <sighs> False alarm. Uh, popped up too early. Can't do much. Can't do much. Just got to keep waiting again. Been a long pause, just nervous and anxious, waiting and just see, waiting for that call, waiting for the phone to blow up. Hello, Jordan speaking. Jordan. How are we? How's it going? I'm doing great, man. We just traded up to get you in the seventh round. We're picking you right now. You're an eagle, bro. All right, we left back on you. Congratulations, buddy. Thanks, mate. I appreciate it, coach. You got, hey, look, you got all the support in the world here in Philadelphia to make you do whatever you want to do, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Come here, man. Yes, Jordan. <laughs> yes, Jordan. Yes, my boy. I'm proud of you, man. With the 233rd pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Jordan Mulata, tackle, Sydney, Australia. Eagles, baby! <laughs> yes, Jordan! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Yes, you got Jordan's phone, you call his parents. Uh, <laughs> I got the last pick. Oh, I can't stop crying, eh? No, I'm not. The cameras are filming me crying. It's annoying. I'll give you, I'll give you a call. I'm back to you on stage. Oh. Give me a shirt. I need fucking. Oh. All right, you're about to see absolutely no footage of him playing American football because he's a rugby player. He is six foot eight, 300 and almost 50 pounds, Whoa. and his workout was nice. I really, I really can't explain what I'm feeling right now. Um, you know, it's been a long journey, and it's, it's only beginning. This is a scary part. So I think I'm just feeling every single emotion that I've that I've been wanting to feel for the last three, four months. But yeah, it's, you know, I'm completely blessed that, I, that I've been chosen to be an Eagle, so I can't wait to, to begin my journey at Philadelphia and start earning my keep. Everyone wants that dream of playing the Super Bowl, but I think for me, the dream right now is to get on the field and play my first game, and from there, set goals. They say potential is only talent that hasn't been fully realized. Only time will tell how Jordan Maialata's story will end. 
but one thing is certain. His journey will forever be remembered as a monumental step in pioneering a new international NFL.